Casio LED wall clock DS3808L. It's made for the elderly. It comes in a red display and a green display. You have instructions in two languages. Now, let me tell you, read the instructions a little bit and may not show every single detail. I'm not going to go into great detail on the instructions. You get a cable. It's three feet long. Definitely three feet long. You can measure it if you like. It's twice the length of the unit. It plugs into any smart charger. And it takes up to 5 volt, 1 amp. On the back of the unit, there's a space for it right over here. Now when I plug it in, it's going to light up the unit. It's running through its tests. It says it's okay. Over here, we put a battery in, a 2032 battery. We put the lettering facing up in. Place the unit down, and you take the door. The door is very easy to put on. At the 7, 2 o'clock position, or 7, 1 o'clock, I do apologize, you turn it to 3 o'clock. It's almost like 2 o'clock, and it's very easy to lock and unlock. Your speaker. In here, there's some temperature sensors and a display sensor. I'm not sure where they're at. You have a leg that opens up. It's difficult at first, but loosens up over time. And it lays down. You have these keyholes that if you want to on the wall, you can do so. On the top, there is a display, an up, and a down button. As you can see, the unit's telling it's 12.01. A few seconds later, it tells you it's January 1st. It shows you it's 26.1 Celsius with 26% humidity. If I want to set the alarm clock, and this is how we're going to set it, I'm going to hit the display button, hold it down. It tells you it's on 24 hours. I hit the display again. I'm on 12 hours. I hit the up button. I hold it to 9 a.m. It's actually 9 p.m. You can see that it got dim from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's going to brighten up. So it's 955. And I hold the bottom button down for the minutes. And I can speed it up. It takes about 3-4 seconds. I can only go one way. So I slow it down. 9.55. The next button is the date. 2022. I hit the up button that does the hours. It's April. Then I hit the down button that tells me it's whatever date it is. I think it's like April 17th. I hit the set button. It's 9.55. This becomes a little tricky to change to 26.2. April 17th, 12 o'clock. Not 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is the alarm. 9.55. I hit the up button, I get the alarm. I hit the down button, the alarm goes off. I hit the down button, the alarm goes on. So the up and down will do the alarm. If I want to set the alarm, now I hit the set button. I hold it for three seconds, and I can set my alarm. And it's going to go beep, 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 beep. I need to hit the up button. So say at 10 o'clock, I want the alarm to go off. I want to change this. And I'm trying to hit all these buttons. I got DP1, DP2, DP3, and back to DP1. I believe that's the display, the brightness. I hit the bottom button. I'm able to get to 17, 79 Fahrenheit, 29%. And there you go. 
So in about three minutes time, this alarm will go off. I don't have a control for the beep to turn it on and off. I cannot raise it high, medium, or low. I have to do it by the three button presses. That's the downside of this clock. It is nice and bright. I'm in a bright room. I'm able to see the unit. It's pretty bright enough. I don't like seeing the date and the time go back and forth. Some of the units will have the date and time over here, and they will have the temperature here and not be uh, in connect in combination of here. Well, it's going to take a little long for the clock to go. We'll let this play out and see what happens in another three minutes. I immediately set this to 9.59 to go off. I couldn't wait the extra minute. And we're going to hear the alarm. Now, if I hit the any of the buttons, I hit the set button, the alarm went off. Now, I hit the middle button or the bottom button to go off. I wish the buttons would have been right here on the side like some of the TV sets so I don't have to now go to the back of the unit and try to figure out where the buttons are at. There's nothing over here that says where the buttons are at. But this unit, I believe it's going to be pretty good for some. And I hope you enjoyed this review of the Gasio LED wall clock, the DS3808. L. Have a great day, and there's what you get on the box. Box is interesting. It tells you you got time display, alarm, brightness control, 12 24 hour display, a unit conversion, USB cable concluded, and temperature and humidity control. There you go. Have a great day, everybody.